Hello everyone, long time no see. Um, let me get these things off first. So, anyone else bored in quarantine? Me too. Um, I currently have a cough and a fever and my primary doctor won't see me. And uh, when I call the coronavirus hotline, they don't call me back. And so I'm stuck at home and I'm bored. And I've been talking to my therapist and she said, do what I like. And I, I, lately I've been putting on makeup kind of as therapy. So I guess I'm just gonna do that with you guys. Um, my face is clean. I just had the Peter Thomas Roth gold things on my eyes, which kind of helps them to like be hydrated and not have as many lines. It kind of like tightens everything up before I do makeup. <coughs> okay, <laughs> so um, I'm just gonna play with makeup and be, let's be in quarantine together and look good, I guess. <laughs> um, I'm just gonna check this camera again just to make sure I'm sort of in frame. I think that's good. <clears throat> so, I don't have any uh, moisturizer on, so let's do this. this. Is my Neutrogena? This one has sunscreen. Um, it's just kind of a nice moisturizer for under makeup <clears throat> because it doesn't like. It's not like. Um, like those gel creams sometimes I feel like mess with my foundation so this one's just kind of more like creamy and it does smell like sunscreen but that's okay because you're supposed to wear sunscreen every day right <clears throat> I know I'm probably gonna annoy you guys with my cough but I just thought maybe this was kind of a good idea for the state of everything to try and have some fun even though I have a headache and a cough and a fever and can't go to work and I'm stressed out and I'm supposed to get married in June on June 6th and I might have to postpone my wedding and I'm freaking out but let's do some makeup <laughs> um so yeah, so that's on. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of like a pore smooth primer. So this is the Tarte, Tarte, Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. Um, and I just kind of take that <clears throat> with my nail and then put it in the spaces where I need my pores filled. So. So how are you guys doing with all of this? So I live in Wisconsin, but Illinois today at three o'clock is now under full lockdown. So no one's allowed to go anywhere except for, I think, pharmacies and grocery stores. Um, and I live right over the border of Illinois. So like, it's kind of crazy. Like, I feel like maybe it'll come our way soon. Um, <clears throat> uh, what was I even going to say? Oh yeah, and my fiance is a firefighter paramedic, so he has to be in contact with all these people that possibly have it, so it's like kind of scary for us to know what's going to happen. Um, yeah, it's kind of like up in the air, I guess. Oh my gosh, I haven't filmed a video in a, two years? I think it was two years ago, because I was just moving into this house. Um, <clears throat> so it's half an office, which you can see back there, um, and half my beauty stuff. Um, but yeah, I got engaged on November 22nd, 2018. And 
Ryan and I have been together for nine years now. Um, I'm gonna try this out. I just got this. This is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk with coconut milk and aloe extract. So now they're they're vegan and cruelty free. Um, I saw videos saying this was awesome, and also I saw Raw Beauty Christie's video where she got the little white stuff all over her face. So um, I'm gonna use a brush and see how this looks this is light medium I think that's the only color I got yeah this is the only color I got if it doesn't look good I'll take it off but let's just try it out hmm. it's like okay because like my body is like more olive than my face so you try to go more neutral with the foundations um my hands are so dry and cracked from washing them and putting on hand sanitizer like every five seconds especially like i don't want ryan to get sick because he needs to be out there you know taking care of the people who are getting sick so we're like staying away from each other it's kind of sad because he was at work the past two days now he has to work tomorrow and I just want to kiss him, <laughs> but I can't. Um, so yeah. So I'm just going to do like a light coverage day and see how this works. Let me get a mirror out. This brush was a little dirty already, as you can see, but like my next quarantine project is cleaning all my brushes because I have to get ready for wedding season because I do makeup for weddings airbrush so if you're in the Wisconsin area let me know I will travel um, but who knows and I'm freaking out because they're like, this might last through August. And I'm like, oh great. I just ordered my invitations and um, my invitations and it was like a suite. So it's like my RSVP cards and stuff. And I ordered the envelopes that are getting printed. And luckily I ordered them when I did because the shop that I ordered from She's on Etsy and, and has her own website, but she just shut down like the rest of her production for now and she's only working on current clients orders, which I like just recently ordered. <laughs> so thank God. Um look at this in here because You know, it actually looks pretty good for light coverage, but it looks a little weird, like, up here. But, like, a mirror like this is, fat. like, I have my light up mirror right here, and, like, it looks better in here, and then when I go up close in here with, like, the, it's like the LED lights, it kind of makes it look like there's, like, white speckly things. But honestly on here it looks fine so I don't know let's move on to concealer so I've been using this Becca under eye brightening corrector in light to medium so that's what that looks like I just started using it like a month ago um, <coughs> so So I just use this just to help with my God. Ah, oh, oh, ow. <laughs> There's an eyelash there. I just want it gone. Okay, I got it. Um I just use this because lately I've been having I'm aging you guys. I have darker under eyes. <laughs> I'll be 
26 on April 15th. Um, so yeah, I'm starting to, I have like way more veiny eyelids now <laughs> and darker under eyes. Um, I have this wrinkle right here that I hate. I know anyone who's older than me is going to be like, shut up Tatum, you look fine, but um, it's what I'm going through right now, okay? <laughs> uh, so I just kind of push that in. <clears throat> and then just a little bit up top because I'm really veiny. I'll put, still put concealer there too, but this just kind of helps as a first step. Which I learned about this product from Samantha Ravendahl. And I think she's like... <clears throat> 26, 27, 28, I don't know. She's close to my age. Um, so for concealer, do I put that away again? concealer in sepia and I'm gonna do the Robert Welch trick or is it Welsh it's Welsh Robert Welch yeah um I've been like really liking his videos lately too and like I'm obsessed with Samantha Ravendahl Robbie Christie Tati uh Robert Welsh, as I just said. There's some others too, but those are like my main ones that I like to like binge watch their videos, especially right now because we're bored, right? So then you just tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. This one's a little yellow. Um. I feel like normally I go for oat, but I guess I grabbed this one instead. I have like four different colors. I don't think I've used them all though, but it kind of still looks good, even though it's pretty yellow. And then just marry it together. I might have put a little bit too much over here. You know, never underestimate the power of your fingers. Because sometimes it's your best friend. I'm just using this Morphe E8. Just to kind of like rebuff before I powder it. And I'm just gonna powder using the exact same brush. I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Press Powder in Creamy Natural. Hi, Nina. So, Mila, shh. She's gonna keep crawling. <laughs> um, so if you guys remember on my old um, videos from like four and five years ago, um, the reason I kind of stopped was because my dog Holly passed away. Um, but soon after that, so Holly passed away in like that July. And then I ended up getting Miss Mila, who's growling over here, in um, February the next year. So she's four now. Um, and then my other dog, Callie, who I would sometimes talk about, passed away this May. Um, 
so that's been really hard on our family too but um but i have mila to comfort me she's a good girl i don't know can you see her tail <laughs> she's a cutie pie um so that's something kind of new for you guys because i don't know if you'd ever seen her before so um concealer's done i think i want to do No, I'm gonna powder my face. I thought about doing some like cream products, but not today. Um, where's the powder I want? I'm gonna use this. I recently bought this. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I'm still kind of like seeing how I like this kind of. Um, this is my Morphe. Jaclyn Hill JH01 brush and I actually like really don't powder too much like I used to because my skin is kind of more on the we're on the combo side than like fully oily so if I do too much powder I look kind of crazy um, so I kind of have like scaled back on that um, Like, I get that this thing, like, is supposed to help you so it doesn't go everywhere, but, like, when you try to pour it out, like, in here, it's, like, dumb, so I still have to pour it into the cap, so, whatever. So, I just kind of do, like, a light dusting where I used to, like, really, like, like push in the powder because I was so <clears throat> oily and so acne prone, which I do still have acne, but not near as much like I was watching sometimes well not often but the other day I was watching some of my old videos um and I just had like a beard of acne it was just like cystic like everywhere which I'll very occasionally get a cystic acne now but I used to get them like like all the time so I'll drink some water bears um let's see what do we want next um i think i'm gonna do eyes now so i'm going to use painterly paint pot and i'm gonna use the same this is a sonia cash brush by the way it's just like a concealer brush this is the same one i used for the corrector yeah how have you guys been i'm thinking about like doing project use it up again um i don't know how much any of you guys still watch those videos but let me know because i have like i don't even know how many times the makeup i had back then and i was overwhelmed then like oh my god my collection is absolutely ridiculous at this point but new things still come out and I still get excited about them because I'm crazy. Um, and also like sometimes I'm like, oh, I can justify this because I do makeup on clients. But like half that makeup I'm never going to use on clients. <laughs> you know, it's like you justify things to yourself so you can like have it your way. But you really know that <laughs> you're just <coughs> addicted to online shopping and makeup. <laughs> and then so, I like to like warm it up a little bit. It does kind of like dry down so I warm it up with my finger and then oh my god my headache's really hitting me Whew. <clears throat> I'm 
then I'll just powder that again with the same powder I used under my eyes just like as a quick set so nothing skips I know a lot of people say like not to do this so your shadows are more intense but I feel like if I don't it skips like the shadows will skip um so what do I want to use I have like a million billion palettes. Um, let's use this because I bought it and I haven't used it yet. Um, this is the Carly Bybell Anastasia palette. Look, I haven't even taken this off or this thing. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just play with this. So, take my. Jacqueline X Morphe Hill. <laughs> Jacqueline X Morphe Hill. Wow. Um, <laughs> Morphe X Jacqueline Hill. JH36. And I'm going to go in with. You know, I want a lighter transition shade. So. This is one of my favorite transition shades lately is this ColourPop Going Coconuts um, Culotta. It's like a really good neutral neutral shade and it's really light so let's go in with that Ryan's probably gonna come home and be like what are you doing and be like therapy headache in my eyes <laughs> so as you can see this like it almost like doesn't show up but it kind of does but that's why I think it's such a great transition because it's like barely there <laughs> bought this because of Rough Beauty Christie. Hmm. What else do I want to talk about? I mean, it's hard to talk about anything because I haven't gone anywhere in like three days. I did like kind of a little bit of work today because, but um, I can't like do everything I need to do while I'm at home. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of tough because, and I also need the money. Like, hello, I'm getting married soon. There's things that need to get done that I need to buy that I need to you know, finalize everything. So it's just kind of frustrating. Um, do I need another shade for fun? I'm gonna go with Bybel. You know, let's use the same brush. Is this the same brush? Yeah, it is. I don't even know like what I'm doing. So just go in with it. I'm gonna keep using this one as a handheld mirror I don't even know how this video is gonna turn out I'm recording it on my phone um and I set it up myself and I don't even know if I'm in frame or anything but we'll see I could upload this I could not I'm gonna swatch this. Does it have like a slight shimmer to it? I don't know, I feel like something has a shimmer on my eye. Not like shimmer, it's more like 
like a slight sheen maybe to help the colors blend or something um who knows This um, Anastasia palette is actually like pressed pretty hard for an Anastasia palette. Usually there's like more kick up because their shadows are like so pigmented. This one's, this color Bybel isn't really like their usual ones like I'm used to. So it's kind of like a purpley, purpley taupey the shade um to be honest i don't even really watch her channel that much but this palette came out and then the jackie Ina palette came out and i bought both of them i watch jackie Ina more though um why is this part all weird I guess it's fine. Just blend more without any product. Whew, I'm hot. But I'm not wearing a shirt under this sweatshirt, so we're gonna have to deal. Let's go into boy. I think that's what it says. So here's the color I just used. It's Bybel. And then I'm going to go in with this brown shade, Boy. With a Morphe M433. And no, I don't only have Morphe brushes. These are just the ones that are clean right now. Not even clean. They're like semi-dirty, but they're the ones. Because I like Sigma brushes too, and I like MAC brushes. Um, I've been trying to like be more aware of my eye shape and try not to like do this when I'm doing shadow so I'm trying to like look at my eye shape while it's I probably didn't do that this whole video though it's something I'm like getting used to okay that's pretty good I'm not Blend it out with my other brush I was using. A little bit of fallout. I wish iPhones had a, uh, oh my god, what are they called? A viewfinder? Is that what it's called? <laughs> like a little flip up so I can film from the good camera without not knowing what the camera is looking at. Because <clears throat> I have no clue right now. I love how I'm just doing this out of boredom, like, I can't even go anywhere. But here I am. Doing it for the tubes. The YouTubes. I hope you guys can hear me too, like, I have no idea how this audio is, but I'm pretty sure this camera quality is better than my old camcorder which I don't even know where it is right now um 
But I mean, if Lady Gaga can use an 11 Pro to film a music video, I can use an 11 Pro to film a makeup video, right? <laughs> okay, um, I'm not really like loving what I'm doing because it's, I don't know, it's kind of boring, but let's just continue. Um, I'm gonna use Bear. Oh, I just dug into it with my nail. I'm gonna use that as my brow bone highlight with a Sigma, see I told you I like Sigma, uh, E30 pencil brush. And let's try to use that part I just crumbled with my nail. Great job, Tatum. Great job. And this one does have like a slight sheen to it, which is like, that's what I like in a brow bone highlight. I don't like it to be completely like flat matte, but I don't like it to be like super shimmery. Mm. This one's a little more shimmery than I would go for. Like, see how it kind of like glows? I would rather it just be like a touch of shimmer. Like this, this color is really good. Like when I like this shredded color in this Going Coconuts palette, like that I like even better than this because this is like, I am. It's a highlight shade. I didn't expect that because it looked like not as shimmery in the pan. Yeah, I don't really like that. It'll be good as like an inner corner though, so. You win some, you lose some, right? Just waiting for Ryan to walk in the door and be like, what are you doing? Oh, you know casual. I'm going to blend that with my fluffy brush again. Honestly, this brush isn't even really that fluffy, but I'm kind of going a little high with the shadow today, but it's okay. Sometimes I'll do it lower, but if I have the space, sometimes I like to use it. And then for a lid shade, <sighs> and obviously this video is going to be super long because I'm just bored and I'm just talking and like taking my time. Um, this is my MAC 239S and let's go in with, you know, I'm going to swatch with this. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just swatching a couple of colors to see what I want. Then I'm gonna go in with Libra because I feel like my eyes are kind of looking like purpley brown, and this is kind of like like a taupey Libra. Yeah, I'm supposed to get my nails done next week, but I canceled on my lady because who knows who's been in contact with who. It's like a shot in the dark whether you run into someone because no one knows if they've been in contact with someone with it or without like it's just insane okay so i'm just gonna press this color this is pretty pretty taupe taupey purple And it almost has like, has these little pink shimmers in it. Oops, I'm the wrong color. Um, like little baby, little pink shimmers. They're really pretty. So, I like that. I'm kind of just doing like a classic eye look, nothing fancy. I hope 
I'm in frame for all of this. I'm trying. Watch, I'm like slouched and like you can't even see me. Or my head's cut off or. I hope all of your guys' families are safe. Gotta get some caffeine up in this bitch. Cause I am tired. I took a two hour nap today. I woke up at like eight and then by like 11.30 noonish, I took a nap and I woke up at two. <laughs> and now here I am putting the full face of makeup on. So fancy. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the lower lash line um i go in with my culotta shade that i used in the going coconuts this is a morphe m410 just gonna kind of smoke that out first before I go in with the darker shades and lately I don't know like about you guys but um I've been liking to do not as much of like heavy liner but I have been liking doing like shadow as liner kind of like just smoky not grungy, but like not defined. And I kind of like that look. I'm gonna blend this just a little bit because I didn't do it before. This is a pretty look for brown eyes, I think. It doesn't really make them like pop or anything, but purple is always kind of pretty with brown. I'm gonna go in with Bye Bell. <clears throat> kind of just working with all the shade we worked on the upper lid. Are you sleepy? Are you sleepy? You was like my shadow. I don't see anyone's shadow. Like, she'll follow you wherever you go. If you're, like, like when I took my nap, she took my nap with me. When I was sitting in the kitchen on my laptop doing some work, she was sitting next to me. Now I'm doing this, she's laying next to me. Love her to death. And I'm kind of sad I wasted the name Mila on a dog because I could have used it as my future daughter's name, but no had to name my dog Mila. So now when I see everyone naming their daughters Mila Rose after I name my dog Mila, I'm like, F all you people. That's supposed to be my daughter's name. But, oh well. <laughs> I'm already like, not even married, picking out baby names and freaking Ryan out. Okay, I was using the same brush for both those shades. Now I'm gonna go into the boy shade, which is that brown that we put in the outer corner with a Anastasia A14. It's like a pencil brush, but it's more like, it's kind of flat and round. Whereas this Sigma pencil brush I was using is like way more tapered. Yeah, I already have my boy name picked out. Um, but our girl name, Ryan and I haven't decided on, but we came to an agreement on our boy name and I only want a boy and a girl, no more, no less. But if I have 
two boys, I don't know if I'd want to try for a girl. Like, I would, but then I'd be afraid to have three boys. Like, that would, like, like, I'm so, I pray that I have a girl. Please, God, let me have a girl. Okay, my eyelash wants to flip up into my eye. Look, I don't know if you can see that. Get out of my eye. There. Got it to sit a little better. And I know this like probably makes me look even more sick than I already am, but it'll look better when I'm done. So now I go back in with this flat, flat brush from Morphe the M410. And I only go in with the dark shade. Boy. I don't even know if that's how you're supposed to say it. Like I said, I don't really watch her that much, so I don't know what the shades mean. Obviously, Libra means she's a Libra. Like, duh. Oh, I've been really into astrology lately, too. Um, how about you guys? I have that CoStar app. So, I am a Aries Moon. A Gemini... No, I'm an Aries Sun. Oh my god, I'm already messing this up. And I'm like, I'm gonna do astrology now. And I get it all wrong. Um... I am an Aries sun, a Gemini moon, and a Gemini rising, so I'm like extra moody. <laughs> or emotional, I guess I should say, which is 100% true. And then my like compatibility with Ryan, he, uh, we're born on the same day, so we're both Aries sun, um, but we're a year apart, so his chart is like really different and we're like not supposed to be compatible like <laughs> we're supposed to be like maybe compatible like not even like close to being fully compatible it's just funny so i just build this up i know it like takes a while but i just like the like end result And I kind of like make it thicker on the outside and like blend it a little. Let's get into the center with a little bit more. Why are my eyelashes coming off on everything? Am I like losing hair? I also like didn't know that asthma was considered an like immune deficiency, which I have a history of asthma. I haven't been on like any everyday inhalers for a long time, but like I had slash have it. So I don't know if that has to do with me getting sick before anyone I know. Um, but I've been like even when all this kind of like was coming to the surface like a week or two ago, I was staying away from people as much as possible, but there was a uh, birthday party that I was invited to for a one year old. So like I went to that, there are maybe like, I wanna say like 40 people there. And this was before any of the limits on, I think, no, no, it wasn't before the limits on people. I don't know. It was on the 15th <coughs> March. Um, and then the 14th, I was at a get together at my future mother-in-law's to work on these flowers for my um, bridal shower. She's making like a backdrop thing, which who knows if my shower is even going to happen because it's May 3rd and... Um, <clears throat> it might just be canceled and have to be like a virtual bridal shower. I'm so frustrated because like Ryan and I have waited so long to get married. We finally get engaged and pick our date and then this shit happens. Like we've literally been together nine years. So it's like, like, um, 
like we're basically already married and we're finally getting married and this is what has to happen it's just kind of like <laughs> it's not funny it's really stressful but it, it is kind of like really so yeah we were kind of looked at like alternate dates because we contacted our venue oh this is the pixie endless silky eye pen in bronze beam um we contacted our venue to see like what their plan was as far as like if our if at our date it's still um people are not allowed to like gather in groups of 50 or 10 or whatever it is right now um like what do we do so she gave us like um a couple of dates that we can switch to that she has available and like all our money that we've already paid would like go to that and everything would be the same it would just be a different day but then now I have to contact all my other vendors to see if they're available tentatively that date so it's just like insane like I feel for anyone who's getting married in April like I feel so bad for you like my birthday's in April but who cares like if you're planning a wedding I feel so bad for you so bad because like I feel your pain and I'm like because like I don't even know what's gonna happen well like those people have to postpone like can you imagine it's insane like all the prep work like pe some people have probably been planning their weddings for like two years and now they have to postpone and you can't have that date that you wanted like <clears throat> and I love my date I really don't want to change it like 6-6-2020 six, six, like I just love that and I hate to have to change it but like if I have to I have to it's gonna be it just sucks but I can't do anything about it um I'm gonna do my brows this is the Dior show brow styler brow pencil I think it's is it just one shade 001 brown um, I've had this for a while and like I have no I have no idea when it's going to be used up because it just kind of lasts forever but I switch between this and my uh, <clears throat> I switch between this and my Anastasia brow wiz so I hope this lighting is okay I have like a lamp and this on so we'll see I really want to invest in a ring light even for like a natural lighting ring light um even for like my makeup clients because sometimes you go somewhere and you're at a venue and the lighting is just like awful and you kind of have to like do guesswork or like make sure you get like I have my own chair that I bring everywhere so it's at my height um, so I don't hurt my back, which my back usually hurts after doing a wedding anyway. <laughs> um, but yeah, I kind of have to like make sure I'm positioned by a window so that I can get the best lighting. And sometimes, you know, like the hair girls are there, which I have my cosmetology license. Um, but the hair girls will like set up and I'll be like, can I have this spot? Because... I need to see <laughs> like I feel like it's a little bit easier to like do hair and dim lighting than it is makeup because you kind of need to know what it's gonna look like in like real lighting and not just the current lighting you're in my mom and my dad are like texting me every two seconds how are you do you have a fever today how's it going what's going on did you call your doctor yes mom they won't see me they won't let me go to their office even though i live five minutes away they won't even test me for the flu literally i just wanted to be tested for the flu so that ryan knew that he was fine like like if I have the flu I have the flu and it's the flu it's not the 
COVID-19. But my doctor's office won't even test me for that and I'm afraid to go to urgent care or a clinic because they're like, call them and get tested for the flu. I'm like, I live five minutes from you and way less people go to your clinic than go to urgent care and the regular clinic, which is probably packed right now with people wanting tests for everything. And what if I actually run into someone who has it and I don't? You know, like my symptoms aren't that bad, but it's like, I don't want to spread it to other people. And then you have the like older people who don't care. Like I know people in their like late fifties that are like, oh, whatever. I'm just going to like go here and go there and go there and go there. It's like, if you have an underlying health issue, you should be staying home and if you're healthy you should be staying home as much as possible because like I will be nowhere near my my two grandmas or my grandma's boyfriend like for the time being until we know that like none of us have it and we know what's going on because like all of them have underlying health conditions Except maybe my my one grandma doesn't really have anything going on, but like she is around my around her boyfriend, which he's also almost like my grandpa because he's been in our family for since I was four, and I'm gonna be twenty six, so that's like twenty two years. Oh, that's a long ass time. Also, sorry, my lips are like so dry. Maybe I should put something on them probably should have done that earlier i've been having to look at my crusty ass lips this is the this is a sample size of the <clears throat> lip sleeping mask from laneige i love this stuff just makes your lips feel so nice and smooth and juicy I know it's like for nighttime, but I like leaving it on while I do makeup because it it's just good at hydrating your lips. So Whew. I'm like getting winded. But yeah, like I was saying, my grandma's boyfriend is kind of like my grandpa um and he has parkinson's so and they're in florida and my grandma was thinking about coming back up here and honestly we're just like just stay there till we know what's going on because i think traveling the two of them would probably be I mean, even if you're super cautious, someone could, like, cough on you or something, you know? There's Ryan. Hey, Ryan. Ryan. Hello. I'm filming a video just so you know, because I'm bored. And I figure a quarantine video might be kind of cute. Okay. <laughs> so... Oh, and if any of you have bought N95 masks, go bring them to your local hospital or fire department unless you're treating someone who's sick or if you're sick. <laughs> right, Ryan? Because yep. they're running out. I definitely have a fever right now. We'll just sweat it out. Okay. Those took me forever because I was talking, but.
Good luck. Now my clear brow gel. Hey, babe. Can you just shut this door? Rye? Can you shut this door? Um, yeah, I kind of like the, the bushy brow look. I don't know if it's always looks good, but I like it for the most part. I still kind of like to keep my tails like semi. Let's do, before we move on to like mascara, I think I want to finish up the face because there's like nothing on there. <laughs> so I'm going to go in with, <clears throat> let's do this Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm. I kind of have to build this up, but I like it. It's getting like super dirty though because I have to like go into there so much. But, oh well. I love how we were like, we're going for a light coverage foundation look and I'm like, I have a full on smoky eye. Almost. So I never really like contour. Occasionally I've been putting like a liquid, not even liquid, cream bronzer underneath uh, foundation, but most of the time I'm just like a bronzer ass bitch, so. So, to any Aries babies out there, we'll all just mobile order our free Starbucks drink this year. I'm with you. <laughs> the past couple years, there's been, I mean, I live in Wisconsin, but like, usually there's not snow in April, but lately it's becoming like a common thing. Um, but the past couple years, I've had to like drive through a freaking blizzard on April 15th to get my free Starbucks drink. I was determined though. I was not gonna let that, that drink expire, you know? I'm committed to my Starbucks. I also used to work there, which if you've watched me before, you know that. Um, but yeah. That was kind of when I stopped wearing makeup every day because I didn't really need to and like you couldn't even wear like nail polish and now you can wear jeans and I'm like so jealous of everyone like I wore black jeans but I had to wear like black pants and they can wear hats and like almost whatever the heck they want now I'm like so jealous not jealous that they have to make drinks though for mean people because People are just mean, you know? Like I had this one lady when I worked at Starbucks. She was like, so rude. Every time she'd come in and she'd be like, almost like, you know what I want. And it was like, um, a venti cappuccino with extra, extra foam skinny so 
skim milk and sugar free vanilla but only like a pump and a half not two pumps a pump and a half and almost every time she'd be like there's not enough foam in here and all this and then she'd also like order an extra cup of foam which is just like a waste of a cup um but i she like gave it to her dog or something like just get the dog a pup cup why are you denying him of these fabulous things in life yeah so she was kind of crazy then there was like <coughs> <coughs> There was another time because the place i worked at is kind of like a vacation town for like people from chicago i think it was either it was fourth of july or it was a weekend but we had a line like out the door and this lady is like up by the registers and stuff actually i'm gonna use the blushes out of here too i like to mix them together Oh my god, really? So the bronzer is just called bronze. And then, wait, are they? Do they have names? Yeah, I don't think they have names. They're just highlight, multi-glow, bronze, and pop blush. So I guess this is like multi-glow, but I mix these two for blush. And then kind of just go into the bottom. I like to mix it a little bit. Um, so yeah, there was a line out the door. And it was 4th of July or like a bu super busy weekend in like the middle of the summer. And this lady is up by the front. She's already ordered her drink and she's waiting. And she's like, you know, my drink never takes this long downtown during rush hour. I'm like, okay, lady. I'm sorry, do you see a Starbucks on every block here? Because there's only one. And all you people come up here and you expect like speedy service like there's a Starbucks on every block. You're not in Chicago, sweetie. You're in Wisconsin in a little vacation town with one Starbucks. Which now there's two, thank God. One, we finally have a drive-thru. We never used to have a drive-thru. And like I went to work at Starbucks like already being obsessed with Starbucks so now I like like I know a lot more and also I'm still obsessed so I was super happy when that drive-thru came in luckily I never had to work at it though um let me use this do I want this highlight oh I'm tired yeah let's just use this highlight it's kind of like a We'll call it like a white gold, if that makes any sense. I'm going with this. Oh, I didn't tell you what brushes I was using. So for my bronzer, I use the Sigma Tapered Face F25. And then for my blush, I use my Morphe X Jacqueline Hill JH04, which this is basically an E4 in the regular line. Um, and now I'm going in with the Morphe X Jacqueline Hill JH09, which is like that what is that 501 510 or 501 or something just like a long fluffy long skinny fluffy brush and lately I've been like so that now that I mix those two colors that were in this palette for blush they're like super shimmery and I kind of like like a dewy look on my face um but for highlighter I've been really trying to focus on like like pinpointing and seeing where the light catches on my face. So like right here is where light hits me. And over here. And then I usually do somewhere on my brow like before I have any product, but And then I do it up here. And that way it's kind of like, like more subtle. 
than like going going ham like I hate how people look like they have like a streak of highlight on their face it's like it's supposed to be like the sun is hitting you not like you're being blasted in the face with a ring light <laughs> or you know like you put a metallic shadow all over your face like I don't like that super bright highlight look I absolutely like do not like that at all and then my nose for the oop. I do like the nose to be bright in the right here though so I get that little button nose look And then chin. And really like if you don't want to highlight something that whether you have like a blemish or like you don't like your chin, don't highlight it. Like if you um, have a super prominent chin, you probably don't want to highlight it because it's just going to make it come out more. Um, you know, and like you can like contour your nose. But like if you have a lot of texture here, you don't have to highlight. You could also do like um like something super subtle. You know, there's highlights out there that are like subtle enough where it's not like glitter on your face. Like if you want to go for a highlighted look but you have super oily skin, find a highlight that's just just that slight sheen. Um and I'm gonna do my keep this bow too. Um, but you can find a highlight that, like, works for you. It doesn't have to be, like, what everyone else is talking about. You know what I mean? Especially, like, skin type matters. So if you're watching someone who has, um, a totally different skin type than you and you're taking product rec recommendations from them, um, for the face, mainly, um, you're probably buying products that you're not gonna like in some cases. Um, but like try to find someone who has your skin type. Like I'm like combo oily and I kinda like to look like glowy right away. And then I almost never bring things to touch up with me, but I don't know, I'm just kind of like okay with how my face is. So I'm gonna go in with the all nighter setting spray. I don't know why it took me so long to say that. I don't have a fan, I'm not that fancy. But I really do want those Patrick top blushes and lip gossets. But I'm poor right now. <laughs> Cause I can't go to work. <laughs> it's the fucking Quarantina wine mixer. I love all the memes like that. Lighthearted, like I know it's not a joke, but some of this shit's funny, so. Um, let me curl my lashes <laughs> sorry if you can hear Ryan's on the phone with his friend who's another fireman so Apparently a 34 year old that was Dis at Disneyland died. Curl my lashes. Now for my mascara. Where is my mascara? Oh, I think you guys are on top of it. Cause I have you on like a, a pedestal almost. Let me see if there's one out. I don't think there is so. Bear with me for a second. Oh my god. Ooh. Gonna be close to me for a sec. Okay. Put you back up where you were. Oh. Jesus. Okay. Hopefully.
hopefully that's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with that. Oh my god, I'm dropping everything. <coughs> we're hot, we're hot, we're hot, we're we're almost done. We're almost done. I'm like Okay. I hope you guys had fun with me. I know it's like kind of boring to like watch someone put makeup on forever because I don't know how to edit. Um but we're all bored, right? I'm gonna put on Lash Paradise on my upper lashes. We're not done on this side. I do another coat. <laughs> I still take forever on mascara. Always. It's the most important part. Most important part. Most important part. I mean, everything's important. I feel like. I don't know. Maybe you guys will agree or disagree, but I feel like my skills have gotten better over time. Um. Since you last saw me, but the last video I posted, I think I had makeup on and I had already like gone and done a wedding and then I was back. Um, oh fuck. I'm getting so good at makeup guys, look. Wow, I'm getting mascara everywhere. Would you trust me to do your wedding makeup? <laughs> I think I'm just like I'm just trying to get through this faster but I can't make my mascara routine go faster so they're on the phone talking about how March, April, and May weddings are having to be postponed. Seriously, I'm so, I feel for everyone who's getting married. Like my wedding's just in June. So who knows? It could, everything could be extended. I'll probably have to cancel my shower, my bachelorette party. I just, and I don't have a wedding planner. Like, my wedding planner is me and my fiance. Like, we're we're the team. Like, no one helped us. So, anything that we have to do as far as like calling vendors and figuring everything out, like that's all us. Like, we did it by ourselves. Um. So it's just why won't these lashes go together? Do you see this? They're like just wanting to be apart. They're social distancing themselves. <laughs> Come on. Come together. Now I just got mascara on my nose. <laughs> I hope you guys are laughing at my pain. My quarantine pain. I'm so hot. I probably have a fever. It's, these are probably dry. Don't talk to me.
to me about weddings. I don't want to hear it. Let me just like scrape this off, I think, instead. It still doesn't look like that. It's still gonna look like that. not looking perfect but whatever I'm not I'm not going anywhere right whatever less noticeable I'm oh, waiting for this shit to dry um another eyelash another eyelash I lost I'm losing all my eyelashes do my comb crusher. I'm still using cover oil comb crusher for bottom lashes. It's just like so easy. Also, you know, I said I was going to try that Carly Bybell shade for my inner corner, but I'm going to show you guys my favorite inner corner highlight right now. The bomb. It's Kylie Cosmetics, but whatever. Like when a product's good, a product's good, right? Um, I don't really buy from her that much, but I use her liquid lips and liners on my clients because I know that it lasts like freaking forever. So This headache will defeat me. Okay. Q-tip to my rescue. Get out of there, Delmer. Okay. Eyes are done. Well, no, they're not. I'm showing you in her corner. Right? So, I don't know if she still has this shade, but this was from that summer collection when she first came out with the wet set. Um, highlighters. So, this one is in Santorini. And this is... I'm telling you to be careful because this is so intense, but you need like the tiniest bit for an inner corner highlight. So I go in, I'm literally just going into the cap because it's so bright. Watch this. Like, are you joking? This is the best inner corner highlight ever. Like you don't even, I dipped into the cap. And I get this much payoff. Not even a wet brush. It's insane. For loose highlights. Like, look at that. Isn't that, like, literally insane? And then sometimes I'll put a little teeny bit on the very tip of my nose just to get a better, like, tip on my nose. Boop. And... I don't think I want to put lip stuff on because I'm sick. I could use a brush. You know, let me use a brush for a gloss. I'm gonna need to find a lip brush because I don't usually use one. Sigma lip brush L05. So it just comes like this. 
You can bring it with you if you want and then, oop. So I always use lip brushes on clients. So nothing gets contaminated. So I ordered um, a couple things from Clarence not that long ago and this came as a freebie and I absolutely love it. Um, it's this Clarins Instant Light Natural Lip Perfector and this is in the shade six. I don't have a name on it, but it's this like uh, spongy thing and you just squeeze it and put it on, but it's like the perfect like natural lip for me like my lips but better but not intense so I just got some of that on there I'm just gonna put it on my lips that's probably all I need it smells pretty good too it's like a a brownie nude ish with like a hint of pink and it is like kind of like a sheer glossy color, but like, like it just added like a touch of color, but it's like perfect. Um, I will wash this right away. So anyway, you guys, with my lovely hair and my quarantine makeup look, what do you guys think? Cute? So I'm probably going to be bored while I'm continuing to be under my own quarantine um but i can keep doing these videos so um i'll talk to you guys later and hope to see you soon in the comments and yeah see y'all later bye